Hi, uh, welcome to the session on CMA Part 1, Financial Reporting, Performance and Control. In this session, we will be discussing about material variances, direct material variances. Direct material variances um, are further classified into direct material price variance, direct material quantity variance, direct material mix variance, and direct material yield variance. Direct material price variance. Talk about uh, the variance due to change in the price of the material purchased. We set a price. We set a price well in advance and call it a standard price and instruct the purchase department to purchase the material at this price. So the purchase department with its skills has to purchase the material at a uh, price given and if the actual price paid is different from the standard price set, the direct material price variance will take place and the purchase department is responsible for that. So it is simply the variance due to change in the price between actual and standard. And the department responsible is purchase department. Now here we purchased say 15,000 units, 15,000 cages. So if you want to calculate the material purchase price variance, direct material purchase price variance, purchase price variance means for the quantity purchased. What you need to do is you take standard price which is set well in advance, SP and deduct AP, actual price what you paid, what you paid times the actual quantity purchased, actual quantity purchased. So here the variance is going to be the price difference multiplied by the total quantity purchased. We set a standard price of $12 minus the actual price paid by purchase department purchased at $14 times we purchased 15,000 kgs. So there is a loss of $2 per kg and we purchased 15,000 kgs. Therefore, the variance is $30,000. It's a loss. We paid $2 extra per kg. Therefore, it is called adverse variance or unfavorable variance. The, variant, uh, the variance is going to decrease our profit. Therefore, it is called as adverse variance. So when we are calculating direct material price variance, make sure that the question is for the entire quantity purchased or for the quantity used. If at all you are asked to calculate direct material price variance for the quantity used, though we purchased 15,000 units, we used uh, in the production only 11,900 units. So if the question says that the price variance for the quantity used, let's see the deviation in the price, that is the price variance SP minus AP multiplied by from 15,000 kgs what you purchased the production department so far used only 11,900 so actual quantity used you should use actual quantity used so the variance is going to be $12 what you set as standard price $14 what you paid actually times 11,900 kgs of material was used as the price variance for the quantity used therefore the product should be the difference in the price with the actual quantity used so 
the variance is 23,800. Adverse, because you paid more. So we need to read the question carefully, whether the price variance is for quantity purchased or quantity used. In case quantity purchased, take the total quantity purchased here in the formula. Whereas used, you'll have to look for the quantity used from this and multiply with that quantity. Then one more major variance what we observe in the production department um, is direct material usage variance. What quantities are supposed to be used for a given output? For a given output, the material is allowed to be used. We allowed to use 12,000 kgs, but the production department produced a given output by using only 11,900 kgs. So production department is much costier about you know minimizing the wastage. They used only 11,900, though the allowed quantity is 12,000. So the usage variance or quantity variance is nothing but what is the standard quantity allowed for in the production and what is the actual quantity used in the production. So the difference between these two quantities should be multiplied with the standard price because the production manager is not going to be updated about the actual rate on daily basis. We set in advance that if you use one unit of raw material extra, this is going to cost us. So please take care of it. Therefore, the formula for direct material usage variance to calculate direct material usage variance or DMQV, direct material quantity variance equals to SQ standard quantity, which is allowed minus AQ times, we make him responsible for only the standard price. We do not update actual price from time to time. So we should use standard price in the formula. So production manager is responsible for the quantity difference multiplied by standard price. Remember it's the quantity variance. Therefore, both the quantities should be within the brackets. Just, um, you know, um, memorize this SQ minus AQ because it's a quantity variance. So both the quantities should be within the brackets multiplied by standard price. Whereas in the case of direct material price variance, remember prices were within the bracket. So you can just use this thumb rule SP minus AP times AQ. Okay. Now, what is the quantity allowed here? The quantity allowed was 12,000, 12,000 kgs, but actually used is 11,900 times the standard rate is $12. The production manager with his keen observance used less material than the allowed material. So he saved some you know, material, 100 kgs of material and each kg there is a saving of $12. So $1,200 is a favorable variance. 100 kgs of material times 12, 1200 $1,200. Dollars improves our profit. Therefore, it is a favorable variance. This is the end of the session on material variances. Uh, material price and material quantity variances. That's all for now. We'll see you in the next session. Till then, have a nice time.